again. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Swenson. And I'm Sean Bouchard. Uh, and we're helping Indiecade uh, with these videos about Inga Demo to give you some tips and tricks as you go along designing your game for the jam. Uh, today we're going to talk about harmonizing mechanics and theme together. Yeah, so in a good game, everything in the game is about something. The characters, the story, the mechanics, they should all reinforce one another. Uh, the theme should be appropriate for your mechanics and vice versa, your mechanics should be appropriate for your theme. Um, so let's look at an example of a game that I've been playing a lot recently, uh, Pandemic. Pandemic is a game about the players feeling stretched really thin and trying not to let things get out of control. So it's got a bunch of positive feedback loops uh, that are always threaten threatening to cascade and uh, go terribly wrong. I love also how uh, the visual design of Pandemic and the way those mechanics play out on the board kind of mimic uh, the metaphor of uh, cells being taken over by disease. On the board, the little disease tokens really can spread out and multiply in a really exciting way. Yeah. Uh, so when you're thinking about your games, consider if your mechanics are best serving your theme or vice versa. The best way I find to do that is through playtesting, or if I'm adding a new mechanic, I'll immediately bring someone in to see, is this mechanic really essential to getting across my experience goal? Sometimes I think about an emotional experience goal rather than an overall theme, so that tends to be where I'm coming from. But I love in the experimental phase, for any of you still experimenting broadly, trying really unusual mechanics uh, to really drive at that theme as fast as possible. You can ask yourself, does making players name tokens make them more emotionally invested? What if you ask them to cut up their tokens? Does that make them frustrated or does that make them sad? Uh, if you ask someone to knock something over that someone else has built, are they excited about that or do they feel guilty? If you ask them to suddenly take a walk in the woods partway through the game, how does that change your dynamics? Feel free to ask your players to do things you wouldn't normally uh, expect to be asked when playing a board game, uh, even if those aren't the mechanics you settle with. Yeah, because sort of being able to, to target and harness all of those different emotions allows you to create a really broad spectrum and, and arc of an experience over the course of the game. And that can be really fun. And if you find a mechanic that you just love that doesn't fit your theme, sometimes it isn't about throwing it away. Maybe suddenly your theme is not the theme you thought and you're going to reshape some elements of your game because you love that mechanic. Or vice versa, if you really love your theme or your emotional goal, throw, throw the mechanics out the window and find new ones that you love. So good luck over the coming weeks incorporating theme and mechanics and, and the harmony between them into your games uh, and have fun. 